Right, I've got another one for you, and it's on ancient wells. Uh, supposedly, they are wells, and uh, what got me off on this idea is this site here, and it, it's Roman, what, what they call Roman, and these are meant to be toilets out there, and they, if you go search it, they will show you a picture of somebody squat over these holes at the top, which makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, can you imagine the filth? Uh, and what about the hole at the bottom there on the side wall? What's that for? I mean, do you stand at a distance and try and, and just piss all over the wall? Yeah, so uh, obviously there was something else going on here. Whether there were toilets or not, we don't know. But they definitely weren't used in the way that you've been taught. And uh, or maybe something joined into them. <laughs> This place is India, its name is something Patan, it doesn't matter if you type in on Google or some search engine, ancient wells, ancient waterways, ancient wells, then you will, all these main ones will come up with what I'm showing you, that they aren't, and this one is black and white, it doesn't matter, it looks the exact same way today, and they all say, everybody else says, that this place has been dug out of the ground and it's... It's a well. Right, we've got a side by side comparison here. And this, the one on the left there, is whilst they were excavating it or how it was found. Uh, and this particular image is the main reason why. I went on to make this video because there is no doubt from inspecting this image the next one I zoom in on it and I will go from top to bottom and you will see that this is in fact a, an entire city that's completely buried under this entire field uh, and when the roof collapsed it revealed what was underground and they've only excavated this area since but you can see how they have come and bricked up the side walls and made it look like a well. The areas that you're looking at there that look like bridges to walk over will have in fact have spanned the entire different floorings. Uh, how many floors there are if it goes down below what they are calling the ground level today we don't know. But they did in fact span the entire floors they have just since collapsed. And they were all connected uh, with these things. I found this image for you. And this is extremely technical, similar to how we span bridges today. the next image here yeah, if you look at the bottom of the bottom image it looks like some type of decorations you know the over uh, overhanging lips I'm thinking that that has since petrified into that material that you're looking at now uh, it was some type of canopy you know that will have run through the concrete it's just petrified into what you see today from the lime. Again, the lime will turn anything into limestone. Again, like it does on the inside of caves, which we've got into on this channel many of times. In these two images here, you can see how, if you've not watched my Dolman series, there are three, 
you need to do and um, for those that have you will recognize when I was showing you how it was mud rock and we can see here that these are not blocks uh, I know I've not even suggested yet that look some of it will be concrete but some of it has been packed uh, similar to how we do a partition wall today right it's some type of cladding and we can see the inner structure how it's been packed into it and since hardened like a mud rock due, you know due to the flood so i suppose how they have managed to convince people that <clears throat> that these are wells uh, is due to these steps and you can imagine how people would be walking down here with balls on their head or something in the narrative that you've been told uh, and be walking water bowls up these steps okay but uh, when you actually think about it, it you know how would you clean this thing out I mean it's so big we know we're talking about water going stagnant here or it being contaminated how would you end up cleaning this thing out is why it's ridiculous people So just to mention a major point to how real wells work, you know, that uh, have been dug into the ground, partly into the bedrock there, uh, is because it gets filtered from the rock, right? So you take the water out and it will constantly fill up to the same water level, is how wells work. This is a different site, it's in India again, and they call this an underground city, just this little area, I suppose it's a building that they say is underground, but if you look at the staircase there, you can see how the staircase has been built up against the windows, which will run under the stairs, right, and it goes down much further, they've just laid some temporary concrete to make a path on the lower staircase there, this next image uh, is an area which is obviously a tower which is buried it's the same site the third image on this tower showed you just how deep it goes but you wouldn't be building a well like that with a staircase where the water runs through into the staircase would you uh, I think I've proven my point on this
Well, if you like that, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to help the channel moving forward, you can press on the link in a pinned comment, which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.